beat it up, Elon Musk, yeah. I be in the trench, we teed up. Man, man, this is not a fire drill, nigga. This is the real thing. You feel me? Y'all haven't made a video in so long. I think, I think me not having made a video in a long time is honestly just fed me. You feel me? I got hungry. You feel me? School starts in about two, three weeks. I'm going to Cali soon. I'm back grinding with the videos. And I can't wait to see how I'm going to edit this video. Because, you know, I, I just want to, I don't know how I want to approach a lot of my videos. But I do know that I want to upload more. And I do know that I need to not make excuses and just do it, man. Because, like, man, that nigga Mac, Mac Moolah, he made a good ass point. Feel me, bro said, treat that shit like the trap, bro. Like, making a video, it, it can't hurt you. Like, that shit can only help you. Like, the more videos you pump out, I'm like, man, that, that shit true. And I think one reason that it's always been hard for me to make a bunch of videos is because I love the the rapper the, the rapper vibe. And when, and when I say that, I mean, like, when you think about niggas rapping, man, you just think about your family, you know, going to the studio. You just you just see a nigga in, in the studio just spinning his mind, man, Put, putting that shit out, man. Like, back to back to back. Nigga, young boy being like, Making hella songs back to back to back. Face, he be big face Ray, he be in the lab making songs like and they, and they just be going off V's, he be having fun with that shit. So when I be thinking about videos, I'm like, damn, I don't want to turn myself up like that because I'm a cool ass nigga and I, and I just feel like, man, a lot of YouTubers my age and all that, man, they they just I don't know, man, but y'all need to y'all need to see how this camera really get down. You feel me? Y'all want to hear the bike, you feel me? I know good and well, y'all want to hear the bike. I love this. This looks so good, y'all. Looks so good. I wanted, I was about to go downtown and all of that, but it's way too many people downtown. You feel me? And I, it was a bunch of dudes on bikes out there too and all that. I mean, it was cool. You feel me? Throwing the deuces down and shit. But I ain't fucking with it. I'm cool. See, I can't even... I can't get as loud as I want to with it because I feel like this is a peaceful neighborhood and I'm a thoughtful citizen, you know? I feel like a lot of people aren't considerate with their cars when it comes to other people at certain times of the day or in certain neighborhoods. But me, bitch, I'm just a good human being. Let me make sure. Bug. Is this shit stable? Oh, these are probably real rocks. I'm not tweaking it. I didn't feel like staying downtown because there was too many people down there. And it's kind of funny because I used to love being around people and shit. Well, I do like being around people, but sometimes some shit I just don't want to be in. Like, it's crazy thinking what you be doing compared to what like a bunch of other people be doing out in the world. For example, I'm sitting over here chilling, recording. And it's like all those people are downtown, niggas is on their bikes, people outside, people getting ready to go party and shit. You feel me? I wanna do something tonight too, cause I just been bored as hell. But I, I, I've been wanting to turn my life up so bad, bro. And I don't be having, I don't know, sometimes I just sit still and, and shit just builds up in me. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just be trying to be calm and peaceful and shit. But it was like, it's like a burst of energy that's inside of me that just wants to come out, you know? But I wanna put all my energy into the, in, into craft and into, making videos into editing and all that because I love it. It's a passion that I have, it's a passion that I love. I, I believe it's an art form, you know, like this is my outlet, you know, like, like I wouldn't be out here if I wasn't recording and my dumb ass left my other phone at home. So I'm using my main phone right now for the uh, monitor if I'm not uh, just looking at the camera from behind it. So I'm using my main phone, so. Yeah, bro, just out here chilling. One thing about being in nature is like, you could like nature as much as you want and shit, but it's always some fucking bugs that's gonna bother you, bro. God damn, it could be a gnat, it could be a fucking fly, it could be ants. You never are unbothered. Nigga, it could be a mosquito, you're never unbothered. People be trying to fake all that nature shit, bro. Like, sometimes I just wanna go inside, cause bro, I'm itching. You feel me? You gotta keep swiping your face and shit. It's good to be out here. I did bring some books with me, but I'm not pulling them hoes out. I do need to start reading more, man. I've noticed that when I when I read, bro, is my mind just starts expanding. You feel me? It's like when I, I read one thing and then you know a topic comes up and then I'm like, wow, I'm actually educated on that topic or 
I feel like I should just share that knowledge. That's one thing about me when I learn. The time you'll catch me talking the most, right after I learn something. Like I'll read a book, I'll read articles, I'll, I'll study something. And it's like, my first instinct is to, to share that knowledge, is to project that knowledge. And honestly, I think I'm so good at learning. I think that, um, I, I think I've always been good at explaining things to people like even in high school like i was that kid who answered all the questions in class and shit i always wanted to answer the questions um and then like it was multiple times i wanted to <coughs> multiple times that i wanted to um teach people like i would ask and i go up to the board to explain something to somebody because i felt like i could explain it in a way where we would all understand rather than a teacher a grown woman a grown man teaching us so i've always been like that but when i'm learning that's when i'm, I'm talking the most that's when i'm you feel me i'm doing the most when i'm learning so Reading books, it is, it's an overload of information and I love that shit because I feel like the smarter you get, bro, the, the more control you got over shit, the more freedom you feel like you have. Like, and one thing I've always told people is my favorite characters are like Ghost, John Wick, very successful guys on TV shows because one thing, uh, I've always wanted to be a lawyer. I mean, and one thing I've always felt about that is like when you're a lawyer, when you have power with the government, we have, when you can get your weight in the courtroom, because when you think about it, bro, you do something bad, all that shit is up to one person and that is the judge, bro. You feel me? Like there could be a jury and all that, but the, it's still all up to the judge. And I'm saying if you're a lawyer, you can beat that in court. You can take anything to court and win. What can you not do? You feel me? Like what can you not do? So that's why I've always wanted to be a lawyer. I, and I, I want to help the bad guys, no cap. You feel me? Like if you did that shit, I want to tell them you did it. You feel me? Like, I don't know. I want to help people in that way. It's kind of a, a, a moral dilemma that I have with myself when it comes to that though. A big moral dilemma. I think it's a wedding going on over there, bro. Or an event or something. I'm sorry, y'all. Greensboro is very very white. I know there's black part, but for the most part, Greensboro, it has to be predominantly white. No way there's a good ratio of white to black people. I feel like there's no way. Like, it's just so, I feel like this, is, once again, this is a city, bro. You move in with your family, like you're grown, your kids are grown, you feel me? Like you're, you're laying back, you have your house, you got your career job where you're about to retire. You don't want to be bothered. I think this is nice for that. But me personally, I just can't fuck without this greenery, y'all. Can I do it? I'm a city kid. I'm looking to move up out of here. You feel me? Yeah, school starts this semester. Y'all have been going through it with school. It's, it's, it's just been, it's just been a lot. But I'm out here venting, man. And I be thinking like, who wants to hear somebody else vent? Or who, I feel like a lot of people are starting to downplay YouTube and shit. Like it can kind of get discouraging. I would hate to be a new new YouTuber now. I hate to be a new content creator now because I feel like, for one, it's all money driven for a lot of people. It, a lot of people just want the money and shit, you feel me? Um, I think, I mean, yes, the money is a great thing. Like, of course you want to do something you love and make money. Who wouldn't want to do something you love and make money? Like. Because at that point, you don't feel like you are, are working a job or anything like that. You just feel like you're doing what, you're lo doing what you love. And I feel like everybody should be able to do what they love and make money. And I, this, I could go down like a rabbit hole with this conversation, but I'm not going to do it. But it's like, this economy is so fucked up now, bro, that everybody is trying to find the hustle. You feel me? It is so crazy that you cannot have one job now and and like live off that shit, bro. Unless you're a four year degree, you know, six year degree, eight year degree person. So bachelors, you know, masters, doctors is like, not doc, I skip one. It's when it starts with a P, but what the fuck is going on over there? It is getting kind of dark, I hope. I hope the quality ain't bad. And I don't feel like, you know, my bike to go home either, bro. I do want to fuck with this camera because it's a one for an aperture. So I pray the camera for one and shaking like a motherfucker. And because this has no stabilizer built into it, which I did not know before I got it. But it is what it is, you know, three, make do it, that shit. Hmm, I wonder what am I going to do tonight? Probably go to sleep, that shit. I will say one thing to y'all though, is uh, lately bro, I've been getting like more like irritable. I don't even know if irritable, irritable is the right word, but like I've been getting irritated at everything, you feel me? Like people swipe up on my story, people text me certain stuff, people say certain stuff to me and I just get so irritated. And I think it's because like, since I've gotten older, I think people, I feel like people feeling like they have constant, um, constant, whatchamacallit to you, damn. 
What is it? People f- who feel like they have your access, like, just like that. You feel me? Like, people feel like they have constant access of you. It kind of irritates me because I think, for one, people start to, uh, I don't know, bro. People give unwanted opinions. You know, people say certain stuff to you, and, we, and people say stuff to me, and I'm like, bro, who do you, like, who do you think you're talking to? You feel me? Sometimes, uh, man, sometimes I, people people just feel so entitled to you. You feel me? Like, people feel like they, they can talk to you whenever they want to. People feel like they can say whatever to you and just, I don't know, I don't know what's my problem, bro. It just irritates me. That's why I'll turn my story of files off now. Well, I have to let it be known to people, like, for one, I don't I don't care about your opinion. Because people will throw their opinion on you like you really give a fuck. No, I, me personally, I don't, I don't be giving a fuck, you feel me? I don't be trying, I don't be trying to be mean to nobody. I be trying to be respectful. I be trying to be nice. But people just be feeling so entitled, bro. Like, I don't even like people talking to me anymore. I don't. Feel me? I don't talk to other people no more because y'all don't y'all don't have that. Y'all don't have my I can't think of it. Y'all don't have that privilege with me, bro. Like people swearing they be they be so privileged with you. I'm like, y'all don't fucking know me. Feel me? For you to be talking to me like this, for you to be swapping up on my story. I guess I'm just really salty that motherfuckers <laughs> swapping up on my story, bro. Like it, it it irks me so bad. So I be turning my story pods off, but my people be swapping up sometimes and shit, so I'll leave them on. But yeah, it's something wrong with me, bro. I get irritated super fast now, whether it's social media, whether it's real life. Um and, and one thing, bro, that I've I've I hate to say is like I kinda have been and it's and it's not even anything specific with anybody specific, but I feel like I'm in a phase of my life, bro. Sometimes I just don't be caring like about nobody else's problems, bro. I don't know. I feel like sometimes in in the past, for sure, in the, in the past, you could be that person that a lot of people pour their anger onto because there's a lot of other people not doing them how they should be, how they should be treated, how they should be getting treated and shit, man. And people pour that shit on you, bro. And it's like it, you when that happens, you you like damn like after all I've done for you and all that, you feel me? And it's, once again, it's not specific, but I feel like this is that phase. That I'm starting to get in. I be wanting to be there for people and shit, but I be like, bro, I'm just not trying to, trying to, I'm just not trying to deal with problems that ain't mine, bro. So I stay to myself. I, I stay to myself. You feel me? Like I check up on my people and all that, but a lot of times people will tell you their problems, then start to drag you into their problems, and then start to them problems that they got going on in their life. It starts to affect your relationship, or they'll it starts to affect you as a person. You might start feeling negative vibes and shit, and I'm I'm not a negative person at all. But it's just nowadays I ain't been caring to really carry any other load that ain't mine. And I, I feel like this is just a selfish a selfish point in my life, bro. Honestly, because when you give so much, and it's not even like materialistic, but when you give emotionally, when you give like mentally, when you allow people to to confide in you, when you are there for people, when you, you give your... You feel me? You give yourself to other people and all that. You get tired after a while. And I feel like sometimes people just need periodic times where, I mean, people just need times where, you feel me, they just dealing with themselves, where, where they alone, where they ain't got to deal with what too many other people going on. And some people going to say, that's life, bro. Like, people come with problems. And yes, I do understand people have own problems in their lives. Like, nobody's life is perfect. I understand that people come with problems. Nobody comes perfectly healed and shit like that. But bro, I'm be trying to deal with that shit personally. And it's never, me personally, you feel me? It's never personal, but me personally, I don't be trying to deal with that shit, bro. You feel me? So that's why I stay to myself. I make my little posts on the gram and shit. You feel me? I be talking about stuff and all that, but I don't know. I love doing this YouTube shit, though. This camera is nice. I wonder how it looks in this little light. The phone fucked up, but I'm about to head home. Riding this bike is such a, is such a hassle. Especially having a fucking camera. This shit. This sucks. There's no cap. I wanted to do it for the experience and shit. I don't even like this screen. Yeah, Reef. Man, defeated with this shit. Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this?